Time to get organized and no matter what size your yard is, you can still create a beautiful setting. And here are some tips and tricks to enjoy your yard and minimize the work is Eileen Atkins from Lean On Me Organizing. Get me organized, please. Organized, all right. <laughs> all right, so a couple things. When I was getting ready for the segment, I was talking to my dad, Bob. That uh, Bob Nath the gardener, he's Bob a huge the gardener. gardener. He's gonna be 90 this year. And I said, what are your, what are your tricks? Because it, it always looks fantastic. He was talking about the deer stuff, putting just what you guys were saying, putting out the stuff for the deer. He's like, but nothing really. Kids, uh, hair too works. Yeah, yeah. So as I was putting this stuff together, I'm like, well, wait a minute. He was organized. Seven kids, worked full time, would come home. He'd still be time for out in the garden. So he had all of his stuff organized. And another thing that he did that I don't think he realized, he journaled. So from year to year with the, with the seed catalog. You think you're gonna remember what you don't. Yeah, you don't. And so tracking, you know, what seeds worked, where did they work in the garden, what did the kids like, what didn't we like, and trading yeah. up for next what year. What failed. Yeah, so here's just some simple little things. Do it as a photo album if you do love your flowers. This is just a simple old fashioned journal. We use this for our um, koi pond just to keep track of what's going on in there even. I know she has some pictures in there too. So if you take pictures of things, you remember yes. where you planted them, especially when yes. bulbs come up in the spring, you don't want to be digging on top yes. of them. And yeah, yeah and, and putting pokers and stuff in. And then this was just a cute little thing I found at Target, little packets for your seeds, but this is a real basic organizing um, little tool that you can track what you're planning too. I like this thing because you can carry a whole bunch of tools with you at once. Love it. So the thing with the postage stamp, if you just have a condo and you just want to do your flower beds, how great is this? Just This is like your garage in the, in yep. the closet. Yeah, exactly. Or we have a lot more land, so this is great. I carry it around in the yard, so then I'm not coming back and forth up to the garden shed for She's what She's got I cool need. stuff in here, too. She's got, like, string in here. No, She's got that. scissors. I love these things right here, like when you're trying to attach a plant to a stick yes. or something. Yes, yes. This is a little zip, a little, little zipper zip, thing. Yep, so keeping that. And then another thing I do, I save my little tags. You <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I save my little tags for the, for the year that I plant them. So then at the end of the year, I kind of check what worked, what didn't, and yeah. then save them for next year, the ones that I liked. Yeah, I do that too. And then works. this I keep in here. This was just a little fun thing for my friends at Bremix. You got nothing else to do. I mean, look at all the stuff you're doing. <laughs> but this, you were talking about what do I, when do my tomatoes go in? So this is their little almanac. So this things is. Things to do in yep, May. Yep. So things to do in May. And every month you have a sheet, leave it in there, and then you don't forget what you got. I like this. Schedule. She brought a sprayer today and she brought a friend. Look at this. <laughs> He wanted to come with us. It's either a snail or somebody sneezed at the back door. <laughs> so another thing with, this is funny, but another thing, roll it around so they can see the light. So write what you're putting in your sprayers. Yeah. Have you ever done the roundup on the front yard? And then use it for rose food later and yeah. your roses die. And then you realize, yep. yep. So it's always label, label, label. And we do more natural. These things are cheap too. You buy they, a couple of these, fourteen yeah. ninety five or something like that. And you can get a gallon one if you just want the smaller one. I do the two because we put the vinegar in there, and if you get the higher concentrate, you want to cut it a little bit. Um, but the vinegar will act; it's a natural, and it'll act the same as Roundup would for yeah. you. So just kind. And we have beehives and stuff, so we don't want to have any of put that. Put vodka in here too instead of Jello shots. <laughs> Just spray them the, sure spray them the guests. Spray, yeah, I was going to say when company it comes. It can be fun. Go, it can be fun. Need, we don't need the bar. And then just a couple other little things. Oh, the Irish Spring. I can't forget this. So one of my clients. She got excited. Did you see that? Love Ooh. her. She takes this, and I don't know if it has to be Irish Spring, but that's what she said she uses. She scrapes her fingernails on, and this smell. I mean, this is going to repel anything. She scrapes it under her nails before she goes out, whether she wears her gloves or not. You know, you get, well, guys don't as much, but we get the stain under there, the dirt oh, and everything. Yeah. Nothing. You come in. You wash it, it comes out. There's, you don't get any dirt under there because the soap's already stuck under there. Now, there is a trick. Yep. So isn't that fun? And then just trying to use these like around pathways and stuff. The, I love these because you can get them in all different sizes. 50 cents up to $25. Sun powered. Pack. Yep, solar powered, and then gives you a little bit more light at night, you know, outside. And then what else do we have here? Oh, the the food for the hummingbirds and the Orioles. Another thing, if you don't want to go out and buy it, sugar and water, put a little food coloring mm -hmm. in it. There's a real easy trick. Uh, yep. Instant nectar concentrate, so that's pretty good. Yeah, too. and it's it's like two bucks, but you again, you can make it yourself. And then just making sure you have have what your the flowers that you have. I, I know I'm always going to pull these out in the spring, so I always keep a tall vase for them. Yeah, it's then, nice to let them die in the yeah, yard. No, bring yeah, them in the house. No, bring them in the house. And then some little things with frogs in them, so if you don't have a lot of things, it'll kind of hold it all together and make a nice bouquet for you. Lean on me organizing, right? Yep. Absolutely. There you go. And you put almost all of this stuff in this one bucket. Yes. That's what's pretty cool. Yeah, when I came in, yep, almost everything was in there. Thanks yeah. for organizing us. <laughs>
There Thanks you go. Thanks for having me. <laughs> hey, up